What is up everybody? It is Assassin4259 here and welcome back to Valley. Alright guys. Just what are these glowing orbs that everyone is making a fuss over? They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. I know nothing about them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project. That's about as much as they'll tell me. <sighs> Such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. But I suppose it's the whole reason we're here to begin with. Yes. Probably because that is the reason. <laughs> Alright, but no, welcome back, guys, to Valley, this beautiful, beautiful game. Most beautiful game ever. Just look at that. That's amazing. Oh, baby. Made it to a new valley. Let's go. This is so sick. Thank you guys so much for all your support on this so far. And thank you for recommending it to me. This has been an amazing journey so far. And I am so glad to have you guys with me. So glad. Alright, let's cross this bridge, shall we? Whoa! Oh, shoot! What? Whoa! What just happened? Did I die? I died! Okay, warn me about that game. Let's try this again. Jump! There we go. That jumping always works, man. All right. Hey, buddy. Get back alive, please. Oh, you're so adorable. Oh, you're so adorable. Run free, buddy. All right. Here we go. This game has been so amazing. Like, honestly, it almost makes me speechless. Because uh, it's a great game. It's clear to me that the natives of the valley worshipped the giant tree here almost as a deity. Great lengths were taken to construct obelisks around this tree, which the ancients used to help grow it. I've begun to use the term Titan Tree to designate this species. According to my interpretation, once every thousand years, the Titan Tree will produce the mythological and famed Life Seed, said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. No wonder the military is so interested in this place. All right. Jump. Honestly, I love the running and the jumping in this game because you run so freaking fast! Woo! I'm just having such a great time. Woo! <laughs> yeah, buddy! Look at that view. Look at that view. Oh, it's so beautiful. And the music, man. The, the music tracks have been killing it. Like, they're so peaceful. It's so amazing. I love this game. Woo! <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, man. I just love... Oh, shoot! Woo! That was sick! Scenarios are common across mythologies. 
from the apocalypse to Ragnarok. However, it's unusual for the event to surround a particular object, especially one acquired by mortals. Mm. Oh, that's so sick. Wow. One of you guys wanted to know uh, the music track. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I want to look it up myself because one of you guys said it was really peaceful. So, and it is. It really is. It's so soothing. You could just fall straight asleep from the music. Oh, here we go. Woo! Oh, shoot! You can't go in the water! Oh, you die? Are you serious? Oh man. Alright, well. Shoot. I, I thought we could swim or something. <laughs> or run on water. That would have been sick. So sick. Wow. I, I literally have no words because the game's so awesome, man. It really is. It's a really fun adventure. I highly recommend it to you guys. Highly. Because it is just really fun to play. Jump! Alright. Let's get across here. And the directions... Hang on. They seem to have coexisted with the mysterious forest sprites. I find loose hints of Mesoamerican civilization, such as the Olmec, with their renowned colossal headstone sculptures dating back to 900 BC. Strangely, though, the Olmec civilization was much younger and located no less than 5,000 kilometers away from here. Huh. Nice. Alright, so what I was gonna say, like, the direction in this game, like, it's pretty good, it's pretty good, because I think, uh, knowing where to go and everything, it's at the top. You see that bar at the top, guys? That's where it's, like, telling me to go and everything, and so, that's pretty cool, and that tells me where to go, so I don't get lost and everything. But, honestly, I think I've found my way. I, I honestly don't even need the bar, because it's pretty good with directions. Because when you're going to, like, new places and everything, it's actually pretty easy to find it, find where you need to go. So, yeah. Can we actually, hold on. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Open sesame, huh? Nice. That's funny. The woman isn't saying anything. They're completely harmless. Oh. About their research. Huh. All right. Glitchy glitchy woman, a little little glitch, but I ain't worried. Wow. Jump. Oh wait, here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, look at our shadow. <laughs> All right, I think this is the way to go. Hello, box, give me them goodies. Thank you. Alright, 
Where? Hang on. Okay, let's go this way. Blue goodie. I love how we're running on the vine. I was going to interrupt the lady just because we're running on a vine like that. woo Oh, man, that was awesome. That was so cool. Hello. What's down here? Blue goodies. Blue goodies for days. Woo! How oh, shoot. How civilization take hold so far north? The land here isn't arable, yet the population that lived here was clearly sedentary in nature. This leads me to believe this place was used as a sacred ground. Hmm. Are these monuments to the mythical cannibal giants of native lore? The Saiteka? The what? Okay. I don't know what you said, but all right. I'm glad I'm playing this soothing game first, then this beautiful game first, because you already know what happened next. If you've seen my Instagram and everything, <clears throat> which is Assassin4259. Ooh. I'm playing the joy of creation. What is this? Hang on. What are you? Oh, is this an upgrade? Nice! Andrew Fisher, lead physicist. Beginning Pathfinder testing on the Icarus boost upgrade. Nice! The secondary boost augmentation to the leaf suit should allow a Pathfinder to jump twice in sequence through the air. Double freaking jump, boys! Let's go! Report any defects to a commanding officer immediately. Oh! That's so sick. Imagine how high we can go now with the double jump. Mmm. I am freaking excited. Let's go. Huh. Double jump. Yeah, buddy. So sick. Whoa. Given Hello. how rarely a life seed is produced. I was so excited when I discovered there was one found in the valley. Apparently the military was just as excited as they immediately confiscated it to study at the Soma Blue goodies. on the mountaintop. They won't let me anywhere near it. Oh. All right. Let's go up here. Jump. Nice. Alright, what's down here, huh? I think this is the first thing I am okay and approve that there's no fighting and everything. I honestly don't care. It's it's pretty cool. This is kind of creepy. Okay. Ooh, shoot! Woo! <laughs> yeah! I didn't even know what I was doing. Oh, that was sick. Wow. That's so sick. Whoa. Oh, shoot. Okay, looks like there is fighting. I stand corrected. Okay. That thing's shooting at me. Do I just... Bam. Get some of this. Woo! Did I get it? Okay, I got it. Nice. Alright, so there are enemies. We just ran into our first enemy. Cool. Fine by me. That just makes this game a lot There's cooler. one thing I could do without in this valley. It's those damn Amrita swarms that seem to infect this place. They aren't so bad when they're calm, but... When they're starved of Amrita energy, they become incredibly aggressive. 
sending waves of drones toward intruders in suicidal attacks. They seem to be becoming angrier the longer we're here. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Oh, shoot. Woo. Barely made that. What's in here? Oh, is it another upgrade? Let's go, boys. What is it now? Oh, shoot. And how do we do this, huh? Bloop. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, so... Where... Oh, I did it! Ooh, that is loud! Ah! Why? Wow. That is really loud in my headphones. Okay. Whew. This game is so sick, man. Let me know if you want me to, like, do another part of this right after, or if you guys want to be complete stupid people and want me to play Joy of Creation so I can scream my head off. I already know what you guys are going to pick. Screw you guys. <laughs> Screw you guys. Ugh. I love you. I love you guys. Oh, shoot! Oh, we're falling! Okay. We fell. Cool. Alright. Checkpoint. From what I've been told, Caesarus was discovered back in 1811 by a surveyor seeking to map this remote region. No one believed what he reportedly saw. Due to the sheer remoteness of this region, his story was written off as the senile delusions of an old man, and his tale was soon forgotten. All right, well, until recently that the government was thank you guys for watching. Andrew Fisher. Hope you enjoyed. Love you all. And as always, I will see all of you guys How he in the next video. This place is me. Assassin4259, out.